Uh, morning everyone, uh, so we're here on a very cold uh, morning, so about one zero degrees at the minute, very cold. As you can see a nice uh, ground frost today, white frost. And joined with us is Greg Evans, our course consultant, who's uh, coming... I'm under the hat. <laughs> bit who's, cold this morning. Who's on his weekly walk with us and he basically wanted to just um, provide a video today to back up what we've sent out over the last 48 hours on frost. Uh, basically, so I'm going to hand over to Greg now. He's going to give some information on what we've done previously, what his other clubs do, and obviously what we would do in a scenario like we've got this morning. So, Greg, if you want to, yeah, we're in the uh, first uh, first uh, greens complex area here, and I think this is absolutely perfect. So, if you if you come and have a look around the hole, we've got this. Um, is that five yards there, Sean? I'd say so. Yeah, five yeah, yards from meters, yeah. from the green, but you can see all all the traffic around the hole um, and it's absolutely perfect time to see it because the green is looking fantastic actually uh, lovely white frost on it um, and then around the hole you get a lot of icicles build up and you get a lot of damage going around the hole um, so I thought to start with that um, we've got golf coming so we might have to walk this way a little bit but I get asked a lot as a consultant what's the frost policy <laughs> And the problem is there is no consistent frost policy across the industry. Everyone has a slightly different spin on it. So the way I answer it is that, in my opinion, the ground frost, so when you have a ground frost, it, you know, it's, it's really hard. I think damage is minimal at that point. Uh, but when you have a white frost like we've got here, as the golfers come up the fairway, uh, a lot of the ice builds up on their soles of their feet or their shoes. And as they go around the hole, they start tapping their feet and all the ice builds up and you get a lot of disturbance around the, uh, around the hole. So that, that's my personal preference. I have a lot of clubs that do that. And what they will do is, um, I have to say your approach is absolutely stunning here. So you've got no worries about putting on these approaches. But what a lot of clubs that I consult with do that have approaches like you, is that when they have the white frost, like this morning, first one of the year, uh, they'll come off the main green, they'll put it on the approach, like the guys have done here, which is, uh, as Sean said, only a couple of yards off the main green. Um, as the sun starts coming out, it's a beautiful day, as the sun starts coming out, it starts burning everything off. Then even if we've got some white frosting on here, we will come back on the main green, because the risk of the icicles building up and the, and the mess around the hole reduces substantially. So even though the green is still <coughs> pretty solid, we'll go back on to the main green. So that's something we've had here in the past, Sean, haven't we? This yeah. is something that's not yeah. new. Yeah, um, I mean, it's something we were just discussing prior to this video. We, we, we have done this and you know, when Greg came in and started working with us, you know, one of the things we did is, you know, first things we did is in this time of year is create a cup just off of the green so we can protect the surfaces and protect all the good work and you know, take away that risk of causing damage in the white frost. And we've also just said that we've actually had a couple of you know, years where obviously we've not played, we've had COVID, so the course has been closed and I know some people might have kind of forgotten the policy and what we had done, but yeah, we have done this previously. It's something not new. Yeah, and, and the other risk is when the ground, and, and we're looking for forecasts now, probably seven to 10 days of this, this type of weather, is that when we have that, the guys then can't change a hole because the, now the ground becomes solid. So that hole where all the golfers are walking around could be there for seven, 10, even 14 days. And what we, I remember with Sean a couple of years ago, we were looking around the hole and we were losing sward density around the hole because all the foot traffic's going around there and really weakening the sward. So this, this is a protective method. You know, if we went on the main green now, you're not going to lose your greens. It's a protective method to keep the greens performing well over the winter months. And we've got to remember, we're only just coming into winter. We've got the rest of December, we've got January, we've got February to get through. So we don't know what's coming at us. Uh, the greens are looking, playing really well. Disease pressure's low, so we are we are preparing for really good quality winter greens here at Harpen and Common. So that's that's the uh, that's the that's the uh, philosophy really. So uh, hopefully that's uh, given some of you a few uh, a few uh, answers. Uh, sorry, one more thing. Coming back in, butting in, is my data. I collect data at clubs that do this. It's short periods, small periods. You know. My home club, Ealing, granted in Greater, Greater London, you're averaging around 12 days a year, this, this will affect. The only problem is it comes in little short spurts. So you might have a seven days of this, and then two months of nothing, and then it might come back again. So it's just little short periods. So 
yeah, that was yeah. the only other thing I was going to Yeah, do. no, thanks, Greg, for your time for coming in and explaining that really well. Um, and yeah, if there's in any more or further comments, please obviously send them in to um, uh, Barry, uh, the GM, and uh, we can hopefully uh, further answer and clarify everything. Thank you. Have a good Christmas.